students, I'm Ashul Sharma, your educator. In this video, we are going to talk about another poet, another Indian poet and his name is Jayanta Mahapatra. So this picture in front of you is of Jayanta Mahapatra. Jayanta Mahapatra was born on 22 October 1928. He is an Indian English poet and he was the first Indian English poet to win the prize called as the Sahitya Academy Award for an English poetry. So this you should remember, he is the first Indian poet to win the Sahitya Academy Award for English poetry. He is the author of the poems like Indian Summer and Hunger, two very important poems which are regarded as classics of the modern Indian English literature. So you should remember the names of these two poems, Indian Summer as well as Hunger. It has been asked in the paper before as well. He was awarded Padma Shri, the fourth highest civil honor in India that is given in the year 2009. So he has also received your Sahitya Academy Award and he has also received Padma Shri. He, ret uh, he returned the award in 2015 to protest against the injustice or the intolerance that he saw at that point of time and he returned it in the year 2015. Mahapatra was a part of a trio that is very famous. This trio, the trio of poets that laid the foundation of Indian English poetry. These are none other than your A.K. Ramanujan, your R. Parthasathi and then we have Jayanta Mahapatra. So these three together are called as the trio who laid the foundation of your Indian English poetry. He differed from the other in not being a product of Bombay school of poets. So he is different than the other two but he is of course the part of the trio but he is different. Why? Because he is not the part of the Bombay school of poets. So let us quickly see Jayanta Mahapatra. Jayanta Mahapatra was born in 1928. He is an Indian English poet and he is a brilliant poet who writes about the different uh, circumstances that we go to very uh, you know current uh, modern circumstances and these are the few things that he will encounter in the, his poetry. Also, he is regarded as one of the classics of modern English. He uses those as the theme of his poetry as well. Indian Summer and Hunger are two very brilliant poems written by him. He also received Padma Shri, which he returned. Also, he is a part of the trio of poets with whom? With A.K. Ramanujan and R. Partha Sarthi. So as a poet, he is very sensitive. He is known to write about the sensitive issues that are going there and his poem deals with every kind of emotions. Gradually we will see in the course of the video also that he is writing about pain a lot. So we see that he gives a lot of values to emotions, emotions like pain, love, sadness, death, faith and so on. The sense of alienation which Mahapatra always felt as a child from his mother can also be reflected in a lot of text, a lot of poetry that he has written. Poetry is an expression of one's emotion and the feelings and Mahapatra used it significantly this and beautifully in all of his work. He used to express himself and he used to use poetry as a tool to talk about the alienation that he felt. His concern to bring a change in the society can be seen in poems like Hunger, which shows that how poverty detaches one from the humanly feelings that we have. Dawn at Puri also shows the hypocrisy of the priest and so on. So very typical modern conditions are taken. He talks about different feelings, he talks about alienation, he talks about different feelings that he have for others. And these feelings like the pain, love, sadness, death, death are all seen in the different poetries. Hunger being a very important poem talks about what? It talks about the poverty. It talks about how poverty will detach you and for that hunger you are able to do and you will do a lot of things that are not even right for you. So this is how he writes about different kinds of feelings. One can therefore sense that there is the presence of Urisa in his poetry. So this Uriya culture will always be seen in his poetry. According to the critics like Deepak or Pradeep Chaswal, 
he admits that the setting the background and the sensibility of the poet's work should be rooted in his soil and this is how majayanta mahapatra also uses the emotions to write about himself mahapatra's style of writing is very obscure and very vague very different from the other poets he writes about his own feelings about his own uh, about his own emotions that was not being dealt uh, by the earlier poets that were writing at that point of time mahapatra came to poetry somewhat very late you know somewhat late in his life so he was about 38 when he published his first poetry collection and that was called as close the sky 10 by 10 it came out in 1972 the same year another collection the swayamvara and other poems also appeared both of these collection show promise and his real achievement so it was successful once it came out but it came out very late in his lifetime so he was 38 when he understood that he can write so well these are all talking about his real life problems all associated with the different pain that he has encountered the alienation his mother these are the different themes after a gap of 5 years he also published two more collections which were much better than the one he has already uh, written a father's art that came out in 1976 and much acclaimed work a uh, reign of rights in 1976 again so this is very important and you should remember this as well after several of these there were other poetry collections that came like waiting it came out in 1979 then a false start 1980 then life science in 1981 selected poems in 1987 burden of waves and fruit in 19 88 then we have tem- temple in 1989 a witness of bone in 1992 a very very important poetry relationship it came out in 1980 and a long poem that a long poem this long poem relationship that came out in 1980 also was the one that made him receive the sahitya academy award in 1981 so this was the relationship the poetry called as relationship it came out in 1980 and in 1981 this was the poetry only for which he received the sahitya academy award mahapatra has also published some short story collections in english and the collections of original poetry in uria also from 1979 to 1987 he edited a journal of creative writing called as chandra bhaga important you should know these small details because these can be asked in the paper as well he also was the founding editor of the kavya bharti right so these are the few texts that are very important like we talked about relationship hunger being a very important poetry we also should remember about chandra bhaga about the he was also the founding editor of kavya bharti then we discussed about the different poetry collections that he has like the burden of waves and fruit the false start a very very important a text a very important collection a reign of rights that came out in 1976 all of these things you should remember and you should know the dates as well so around these 1970s he has written a lot of texts one of the most important one in 1980 relationship came out and he received the sahitya academy award for it now we will discuss few details about the different poetry collections and about different poetries that he has written so mahapatra came to prominence with his first poetry collection it was called as the Clo- close the sky 10 by 10 and as i told you it has a lot of poetry it is a poetry collection it has about 49 poems included in it the poems of uneven length poems of varied structure a vague structure vague tone and the subject matter is also very different this registers the mahapatra's immaturity when he starts writing so these poetry are all very immature and we can see that this is the first poetry collection gradually the skill and the texture of janta mahapatra will also increase and will become better and better the false start came in 1980 is the sixth volume of mahapatra it comprises of 43 poems so there are about 40 46 poems 
40 to 46 poems that are there, you know, in every, almost in every collection. And in this, we have 43 poetries. This volume is related to poet's life, both in India and abroad, with his friends, people, his own land and beyond. As I told you, there are no very, you know, these themes that he is writing are not very different, are not very tricky to remember. It is not very uh, very vague. You can say his writing is very vague, but the themes are not vague. Why? Because he is writing about emotions. What he is he expressing? He is expressing what he is feeling. These basically are the themes that he is encountering. In this collection, The False Start, he is writing about the distance he felt with his own friends. He will, like, uh, he will write about the life both in India as well as when he went abroad. The recent collection, Temple and a witness of a bone also talks about the predicament of man in this modern world. How it is difficult for a man to survive in this fast changing world. Then his relationship is an epic poem and this poem is of 12 parts. It makes a dialogue with the Orissa's past culture, history and myth. It is a spiritual quest that the poet is writing about. It is a spiritual quest in the past and thus it releases the roots with it. Mahapatra is a converted Christian and hence his condition is just like an insider and an outsider. While exploring into the Hindu culture and history, the sense of past keeps keener. That is, you know, it will be very much talked about in his poetry collection, Relationship. So this is why your, this, his collection relationship became so important because here he is giving references to his conversion. He was a converted Christian. Also he felt that there was an alienation that he felt with his own identity, with his own family. Also he thinks of himself as being an insider, outsider. He was trying to explore the Hindu culture, the history. And he was to, he also wanted to explore about his own identity, which was, a, which is depicted like a spiritual quest in the poetry. Then we have hunger. Hunger is a poetry that is seen in the poetry collection called as a reign of rights. So it's a poem that was seen in the collection, a reign of rights. This poem is basically divided into five stanzas of five lines and each of them is brilliantly talking about the different types of hunger that we go through. So the poem is in five paragraphs of five lines each and then we are talking about ones which is and of course the last stanza has one extra line. We are talking here about a very simple story. This story has three characters. There is a speaker, there is an old fisherman and there is a young daughter that is traveling there. The fisherman is willing to let the speaker have sex with his daughter for few rupees. So you'll see that just because he is so hungry, there is so much poverty in their life that he is, the fisherman is ready to sell off the pride of his daughter to the speaker that is present there. This is the core theme of the poem, Hunger. Hunger is divided, as I told you, in five paras and five lines each, but one line extra is given to the last para. The theme is here talking, we are basically talking about the hunger that the human goes through. And there we see that there are three characters. These characters is the speaker, there is an old fisherman and there is the young daughter that is going with him. We see that the fisherman is ready to sell off his daughter to the speaker for few money that is that would be given to him. The poetry contrasts the two types of hunger and how they feed on one another. The speaker's hunger is that of the flesh, the flesh of a girl, that of a mind thumping in the flesh sling. As we know, this is one of the hardest hunger to control. No matter how respectable and decent we might try to be, it gogs and then it gogs the very bone itself. Contrary to this is another type of hunger, the hunger not for sex but for food. Perhaps the only hunger about which we should talk about. So here we see that because of the poverty, there are two types of hunger that are 
that we encounter one is the hunger for the belly one is the hunger for the food that is very premium that is very important that would go on forever and that should be dealt and talked about but there is another hunger the hunger for the flesh the hunger for the flesh of that girl that was sitting there and because the farmer was so weak and he wanted to make his family actually survive for some time just for a limited amount of money he sells off his own daughter so we encounter how this uh, lust for the flesh will make him do something very uh, rude and very sad right so i hope you understood this is the poetry uh, hunger you can read it and you must read it you will definitely like it it was very hard to believe that the farmer actually did it and sell off his own daughter's flesh this is the basic theme it is written by jayanta mahapatra right it has five stanzas now this one question was asked in the paper as well relationship is a long poem by ak ramanujan r parthasarthi jayanta mahapatra or kamla das so i'm pretty sure you guys would be able to answer c is the right answer it is jayanta mahapatra who has written the long poem relationship right let us quickly revise what we have seen in this video so we discussed about jayanta mahapatra we discussed that he was born in 1928 he received sahitya academy award for english poetry and then we saw that there are other poetry also like the indian summer and hunger both being very important then we discussed that padma shri was given to him but he later Uh, just uh, uh, you know again uh, returned the award because he was not satisfied and there was intolerance in his mind related to the country so he returned it also he is a part of the trio of poets like ak ramanujan and r parthasarthi then we saw that there are few themes that he talked about these themes are always about his emotions about the modern society about the crisis that we feel in this modern society about the reckless nature of a human being about his relationship with his mother his conversion and also he talks about the human emotions and what he felt when he was a child then the poetry hunger as we discussed talks about the detachment and what type of hunger a person can acquire when they are very poor then we have poetry like down at puri which talks about the uriya culture so you will see that there will always be uh, you know he will discuss about this uriya culture hypocrisy of priest and about the modern society problems then we discuss how his style is very vague the very important collection is a reign of rights and these two poems hunger hunger and indian summer are a part of the poetry collection a reign of rights only then we discussed that the first poetry collection was none other than your uh, uh, we the name of the poetry collection is close the sky 10 by 10 it came out in 1971 then the other poetry collections are as follows i am pretty sure that you will read it and you should remember at least the reign of rights and some more important are close the sky 10 by 10 and then we have relationship very important it came out in 1980 and he received sahitya academy award for it he has also written a journal of creative writing the name is chandrabhaga and he was the founding editor of a magazine also and it is called as the kavya bharti right so you should remember all of these things that we have discussed i hope you understood everything that i told you if you have any doubt you can write it in the comment section and i'll surely reply to you thank you